Hi everybody, just wanted to apologize for my late uploading. Been sick and um, had other stuff going on, but excuses, excuses, hey? Anyways, I just wanted to um, put it out there. I just wanted to let you know that my new channel called Just What The Doctor Ordered is um, currently, as we speak, having its first video uploaded, which is very similar to this one, so um, you can you could just ignore it, or you could see what craziness goes on over there. Uh, not much really craziness yet. Um, that's going to be my daily vlog, just what the doctor ordered. But on this channel, I wanted to thank uh, one of my few subscribers called Smashed Hat Project, um, who I thought was my uh, creative process teacher, Julianne. Um, but I went to see her today and uh, we're having a chat about this assessment and she pretty much blasted me about getting a crack on to um, to what this to the potential of this video um, in other words she told me to um, get my stuff together and let's get this um, daily vlogging stuff done or well, a daily vlog that's uh, that's what just the doctor ordered that's what that will be. Um, so Smashed Hat Project asked me a question weeks ago. I'm so sorry to get back to you so late. Um, oh, that's my phone. Um, yeah. So you asked me what is the what is my fondest memory of my life so far. Um, that's a great question because I'm only 21, so there should be quite a few already. But there aren't. There's not. There's not so many fond memories. Um, it's not like I keep them all on my hard drive in my head, wait, my brain, yeah, that thing, um, uh, what was I saying, yes, fondest memory, so, uh, my fondest memory is of me going to China earlier this year, that would probably be the best, the fondest, most fondest, and that will stick with me for a couple of years, we, um, my family went to China in February, I think, February, late January, late January to February and I got to spend time with um, my grandfather and uh, and my family over in China which was just the best best time ever um, my grandfather is such an inspiration to me um, he uh, he's such a great man and we all say that about our grandfathers but my grand my grandfather is really a phenomenal man and um, I apologize for <coughs> that and also um, looking a bit tired um, as you can tell because I've been feeling too well I've probably haven't had I haven't had enough sleep um, and whatnot but hey that's uh, you know from my previous video in which I looked really tired I didn't mention anything so I just looked stoned and monotone um, little Wayne I think um, that was a bad joke so yeah, so Smash Hat Project, thank you for your question. Uh, my fondest memory was going to China, spending time with my family there. Um, I will, um, I will elaborate, and I will say that uh, when I was over there, spending time with my grandfather, I, the best time with him was when he, um, when my grandmother was really having a go at him. And I'm not trying to generalize here, and I'm not trying to be racist, but sometimes old Asian women can get crazy. And my grandmother just so happens to be one of those people who goes slightly crazy. So the other day, I meant to say the other day as if I was over there. Um, so while we were over there, <coughs> uh, my grandfather, um, who has three quarters, three quarters? No, half a lung. Half a lung? Yes, half a lung cut out. So my grandfather has half a lung cut out. And he was so excited that his family from Australia were there that he pulled out his harmonica and just and just played away just went crazy my brothers and myself started singing and playing um, our ukuleles and that was really such a precious moment for us um really it was he he really put his heart into spending time with us and playing music with us and and um yeah that was really good but my grandmother who had the good intentions of caring about his health tried to stop him and um had a go at him when he didn't stop, which was really, really, um, which is really sad. Um, but I will cherish that moment, uh, and I'll definitely keep that as one of my fondest memories ever, because he took his time and his energy to to play music with us and to play his harmonica, and he plays that he plays really well. And um, yeah, so that'll be the fondest memory 
I, I will have for a long time. And it, uh, I know, I kind of, kind, of, kind of sound a bit sad. Um, and I do, because I miss them a lot. I miss them so much um, right now. And I uh, wish I was over there. So hopefully at the end of this year, if these, when these vlogs keep up, we can finally get some footage of me in China. That will be fun. Um, but for now, this is uh, Mark signing off, thanking Smashed Hat Project for your question. Um, and hopefully there'll be more questions in the future. And if there are, I will definitely get back to them a lot sooner than before. Because my teacher, who I had a talk with earlier today, she kind of pulled me up and said, Mike, that's not really fair um, that you leave them hanging for so long. So I apologize for that. Um, I'm all new to this, but there are no excuses, as we've already been through. And um, we'll see you all later.